Hey, What's up? Uh, this is Gareth Pickering coming at you from Guatemala. And today I Hello. am joined by Alex, who's in South Africa, who's using some really hot technology, which uh, is supposed to look amazing. <laughs> um alex is driving the show today and um what we wanted to quickly unpack was a discussion that her and i've been having internally as we working on our personal brands and work with clients to help them establish their personal brands as they put together a strategy and a plan to um grow their personal businesses and create a strategy to show up online and so alex and i wanted to quickly unpack in this um live webinar just a conversation between the two of us around a new program that we're starting and maybe alex can kick off and just tell everybody why we're doing what we're doing and how we got here brilliant thank you gareth hi everybody and it's so great to see everybody again i know it's been a little bit it's been a while for gareth and i um so yes we've been working so hard behind the scenes and doing some work with some clients and it's been really amazing and last week we were having a chat and we realized that we are guilty of what is typically what what often coaches and trainers and facilitators do we we don't practice what we preach and we have learned to do a really great job at helping our clients follow best practice and absolutely do 100% the right steps in order to do the right thing for their business. And we realized last week that for ourselves, for our own brands and our own businesses, and each of us have businesses outside of, of Ignite, uh, we've cut corners. We haven't really followed things by the book. And because of that, we maybe don't have the degree of success that we could have and we are not getting the same results that our clients do who do follow the blueprint correctly. So we realized that we should spend the time to do our own personal brand strategy and go through that very same blueprint or roadmap that we create for our clients and do that for ourselves. And we had recommended that maybe we coach each other. And when we made that suggestion, Gareth had this great idea, well, if we're going to do this for each other, why don't we let the world watch us and do it with us? You know, so let's, uh, we're going to do it anyway. We're going to meet up for the next three weeks, twice a week, and go through that process and create our blueprint the way we're supposed to for each of our personal brands. And what we want to do is invite anybody who wants to do their own brand and do it with us, come along and do it. Come watch us do it over the next three weeks. And at the end of it, you'll have your personal brand strategy beautifully unpacked and put together, ready for you to apply to your business. So you may be asking, why is it so important? And I'm going to let Gareth explain why this is so critical. So just following on from what Alex said, like a little while ago, um, my personal brand has been one of the Freedom Fighter and it was something that I came up with a few years ago. It was uh, my personal blog and place where I shared video content, but the idea of the, the freedom part made sense to me, but the fighting part no longer resonates with me. So I've registered the domain for garethpickering.co and I've been meaning to get around to it. So exactly what Alex said, we want to be accountable to one another and opening this up for other people to join us on this journey is going to help keep us even more accountable over the next three weeks as we sort of deep dive into uh, exactly what's required to set up a personal brand and the work that we go through. But why it's important is probably this idea of um, maybe best explained in a story. In 2007, I set up my own advertising agency and sort of just fell into this business. And before I realized that it had been 10 years and by the end of it, I wasn't really enjoying it anymore. But what I look back in hindsight and I'm able to to look at now and start to articulate a little bit better is that when I got involved in that business and I see quite often happening with other people as they start their businesses, they sort of go into a specific direction, more of a function of an opportunity showing itself or the chance to potentially make some money, but not necessarily intentionally thought about, is this business the type of business or project that I want to be involved in and does it align with the things that are important to me? So 
really, I spent 10 years in an advertising agency because the opportunity came along. We started making money almost by default in our first month of trading, and we just fell into this business. And then, you know, at some point along the way, if you're not self-aware enough, what you do every single day when you go to work somehow doesn't align with the things that make you really tick and that really get you excited. And so the importance of developing a personal brand, whether you're um, running a new business or an existing business of your own, or even just working in, um, in informal employment, is to take the time to go through this personal brand process to understand what's important for you and understand what are the things that you want to achieve so that you can align your occupation and vocation somewhere where all of us spend a huge amount of time but make sure that it's aligned with the things that are important to you. So it's really kind of an interesting way to, to document and intentionally go through the process of writing down the things that are important to you and go through this framework that Alex and I are going to go through over the next three weeks so that you can see what those things are. And even if you don't necessarily make big changes in your life, at least you have a direction of where you want to be going um, in the future so that you at least know that the path that you're heading down is one that aligns with the things that are important to you. So despite Alex and I both working in our own business, I want Alex just to quickly unpack that this personal brand masterclass and this exercise of going through and articulating and documenting what your personal brand is, is not just for somebody in their own business. And Alex must unpack exactly what our conversations have been around who this, this might be for. Great, thank you, Garrett. Yes. So our key people that we work with tend to be other coaches, trainers, facilitators. And a lot of what we do really is around helping people who are in that space shifting into the online space. And those are the people we coach. But this exercise of doing your personal brand is not really only for those people. So we're really opening it up to anybody who may have a need for this. Because really, if you own a business, you need to do your personal brand. And it's one of the most neglected steps in a business. And it's the most important. It's probably the area where we need to put the most energy in, yet many businesses don't even consider that. They go straight into doing things like registering domains, start building sites, getting their products together, and then don't understand why their marketing efforts don't really work. So regardless of whether you are in the, the area of industry that we normally deal with or in a completely different industry, this will be valuable to you. If you don't have your own business, but are thinking about getting into your own business and have been wondering about it for a while, not sure what your next step is, how to step into that, this exercise is also good for you. Because out of this, you are going to have an opportunity to validate your idea against your own value system and whether you can authentically show up for that idea. It'll give you an opportunity really to see whether you're a fit for whatever that business idea is. And if you don't have a business idea, you'll get an idea of what type of ideas fit you and your values, your mission, your superpowers. And if you have no interest in any kind of business, you are not entrepreneurial, it's not the thing for you, there's still value in something like this for you because it'll give you a measurement whether the career you're in, the company you work for, whatever industry you're in is a fit for you personally. Most of us spend the majority of our life in a work environment, whether it be our own business or whether it be the workplace or working for somebody else. Um, at least at the very least, at least eight hours of the day, 40 hours of the week. For many of us, it's way, way more. And we spend more time there than we do with our own families, uh, doing things we love, our hobbies, our interests. Isn't it important that that time is spent in a space that is really meaningful to you, that really talks to your values, to the contribution you want to make to this planet, to greater society. And this exercise of doing 
your personal brand and really unpacking it will give you the guidance and the roadmap in order to do exactly that. And a key part of doing this is really understanding the importance of story. And I'm going to let Gareth explain that. Cool. So the, the one thing that you'd be getting at the end of this masterclass that Alex and I are working together to, towards is really two stories. Our own personal story, to be able to articulate that story well, and that's basically the process of going through this, this masterclass and working together over the next three weeks. And then also the story that you're looking to tell your customer from their point of view, sort of reversing the story. And why that's important is that really story is the, the thread that weaves society together, that creates culture, that inspires change, that gets message out, that unites people together, that brings them together around a specific topic. And some of our most successful leaders and game changers have a really good ability to articulate themselves through story. But where that starts to come apart sometimes is that specifically in the marketing message, a business may know their own story because they've spent a lot of time deciding what they're going to do. But when you go into um, any marketing collateral that you have a look at, whether it's a, a video or a web page or something like that, be conscious of how the story is being told. And what you see so often in our work is this idea of businesses telling the story from their point of view and not the point of view of the customer. So the customer would arrive on a site that may be a, uh, I don't know, let's say a teaching site that's got some online content and the business immediately starts to plug the story about the business, which has like, we've got so much content and we've been around for so many years and all these different stories about the business. And what they fail to do is in, in part of their planning is to really identify the story that the customer is telling themselves. And really that needs to be a story that's articulated in a way that says, we hear you, we know who you are as the customer, we've been able to identify your problem We've got a solution for you to be able to solve this problem. And this is what you need to do to be able to take action. Not just simply this idea that we've got a masterclass and you should join it and blah, blah, blah. But this idea of like, if you're a coach or someone looking to start a new project, that we understand the challenge that's required to put together an important story, to tell your story and to be able to attract the tribe that you're trying to basically present your message to and tell their story in a way that makes them a... Um, the owner or the hero of their journey. Someone's just started drilling it under. <laughs> it's got super loud. But really, the story is really what we're going towards at the end of this, this masterclass so that you have a clear story about what you stand for. And when you want to take that forward to, to a project online, that there's a way that you can tell the story so that the customer has a way that the, your message relates specifically to them. So that's really one of the, the, the important elements that we're hoping to gain at the end of this three-week masterclass. Eh? Brilliant. Cool. So the next three weeks, Gareth and I are meeting up twice a week. We're going to start our first session on Monday. And if you would like to join us, if you'd like to sit in on those sessions, if you'd like to build your own brand alongside us and go through each of the steps and unpack it properly and walk away at the end of the three weeks with a full strategy that you can apply to your business, to your marketing, your social media, to how you engage and attract your, your team. Click on the link, which is in our description in the post, and it'll take you through to give you more information. And we are looking forward to seeing you with us and go on this journey with us. Thank you. Nice one. Cool. Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. Um, Alex and I are starting uh, next Monday, whether we've got people joining us or not. Uh, we've got space for 10 people in this masterclass. That's so going to be a small, intimate group. And uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of raw. We're going to go through in real time exactly the process we're going to do, go through to articulate and develop our own personal brands. And yeah, as Alex said, if that's something that resonates with you, click on the link and we'll maybe see you next Monday. Thanks for watching. Awesome. Ciao, Alex. See you Bye, later. guys. Ciao.